It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got a showdown in the NFC West. This should be a good one to watch. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Well, the 49ers get ready to go on offense, and it's the Pro Bowler Brock Purdy at the helm in his third NFL season now out of Iowa State. And the great story of Brock Purdy continues. Had he been drafted in the first round, I think people would be singing his praises to the skies, but for whatever reason, people can't let go of the fact he's Mr. Irrelevant and they don't give him the credit he deserves. He is not just a system quarterback. He's a guy who enhances his team. Not just along for the ride, he's the one steering the ship. And without him, their ceiling significantly drops. Purdy going to the air right away. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that it'll be a loss of a couple on the play so now third down coming up i know the speed is the hallmark of today's nfl game but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge a tough spot here on their opening drive this is third and seven Purdy will set up to throw it here Connects with Kittle underneath. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call it? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. They go play action here, Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket. Able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells that offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. Here's Purdy. He's got Ayuk once again. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 23. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Back to throw, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to have a gain of 11. 
11 to the 11 before he's brought down first and 10. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. Mason. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the 49ers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 26. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And they'll come up second and seven. Throwing now is Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Murray. And that's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Trey McBride, the intended receiver. And it's second down.
Out of the gun, here's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Connor. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent, that they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let them do all the work, and then someone catch them at the end and pass them up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Starting the drive with Mason on the ground. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On the ground again, it's Mason. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Purdy now to throw. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Bilal Nichols in there to take him down. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Play action. Now Purdy. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer. He just dropped the pass. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. What a first quarter he's been putting together. He scored the touchdown earlier, and he's in phase right out of the gate. Right now, he's playing with such confidence, he doesn't believe that they have an answer for him no matter what they do on defense. And here's another big play to prove his point. Throwing here, Purdy. Over the middle, complete. That's Mason. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. 
Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here now, second and four. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. That's uh, a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Purdy. the chunk into the end zone it's a 49er touchdown a touchdown run there from a yard out and the 49ers have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead he hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm now he does it with his legs right now he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court you know the guy with points rebounds assists steals one with the arm one with the legs Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Moody good with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. They start the drive with Connor. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. First and 10 is Connor. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Murray again. This is Connor. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Shotgun now for Murray. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 29-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray goes right back to McBride. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Here's Murray. And it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have got it back to within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there's never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Good, strong throw and catch right there, and so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Purdy now to throw off the play action. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Purdy looking to throw. He's got Mason complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 
four yards to pick up first down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Back to throw now on first down. This goes to the tight end, Aaron Saubert. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 26. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Again, he'll drop to throw. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Purdy sets up to throw again. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And they just keep marching right along. First down on the pickup of eight there. And Ayuk certainly established himself last year as a bona fide number one receiver in the NFL. He produced a first down on over 80% of his receptions. And so far, he's picked right up where he left off as he earns a new set of downs for this offense. And keep an eye on him. He can also find the end zone as well. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Jerron Jennings, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Niners have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point try now for Moody. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, put the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. 
I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. To throw, it's Murray. Pass to the right, and he's got McBride. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle in two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second down and four. Here's Murray from midfield, escaping the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. But Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. But defensively, they're doing everything they can to protect this early lead after giving up a touchdown on their last drive. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Cardinals. Marvin Harrison, Jr., 57 yards. And the Cardinals are back within a score. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now Prater to add the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Just a four-play drive that time. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The 49ers offense and Brock Purdy getting ready for this next possession. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to him with another drive here. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And Debo going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made at the 42. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Now Purdy. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. And they'll run it here.
Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Purdy will look to throw again here. This will be caught at Samuel. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 16 yards on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Back to throw, Purdy. Throw left side complete. That's Mason. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Purdy now to throw. Got a man. That's Ayuk. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Here's second and four from the 24. A throwing here, Purdy. That's caught by Jennings. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 12-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. Samuel going to go in motion right. Purdy. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Purdy from the gun on third down. Touchdown 49ers! George Kittle as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers will extend their lead here just before halftime. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Now Moody for the PAT. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. The Niners got a fine performance in the first half from one of their leaders, Brock Purdy. He was downright amazing with three touchdown passes and another one scored on the ground for good measure. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Cardinals offense and their veteran running back James Conner ready for this next possession. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is throwing at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Again, it's Connor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. The Niners offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Here's Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, 
they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Two yards to go, second down. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one covers 29 yards, first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll run here with Mason. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Here's a second and eight. They go play action here, Purdy. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. A tough spot here, third and 15. Purdy looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They begin on the ground here with Connor, dancing away at the 35. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 53 yards rushing for him now to this point. There are so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles as we just saw on that pickup. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Connor picks up a new set of downs and in nice fashion, too. He's coming off his best season as a pro after he topped the 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career a season ago.
Murray now. Pass complete there to Harrison. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. To throw is Murray. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Out of the gun, here's Murray. That pass completed to Dorch. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and eight. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 25. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Connor. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. 81 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone. But now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And he's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Zach Paschal. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Cardinals are able to cut into that deficit. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown.
Prater on to add the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Looking to throw. Purdy, his throw incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Operating from the gun. Purdy, the cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Here now, a third and 20. Back to throw. Purdy. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The Cardinals offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Man. These guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. 
A short one here caught by McBride. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Now a second and two. Now Murray. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 15-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. They run behind center with Cotter. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 112 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Murray now to throw. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Nothing like understanding where your escape hatches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Now Prater to add the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So the drive there took six plays. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Well, this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This game has really flipped on its head. Two unanswered touchdowns by the other side, and now... Yeah, they take over here with just a very slim one-score lead. And we've seen this how many times now? Teams get a big lead, they go in the coast mode, and all of a sudden they're scrambling and battling for a win down the stretch. They've got to put something together right here, otherwise they're in danger of doing the old snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Mason. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? 
or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Now, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now Purdy. He's got Mason complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Play action. Now Purdy. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the cards are right back in this football game. So my goodness, I would have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and ten. To throw, it's Murray. They'll get that complete to Harrison. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And just nowhere to go for Connor. Defense gets to him, and they mark him short. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. Debo Samuel trotting out with his offense to start this next drive. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. Well, look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. A, a seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. Connects with Kittle underneath. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as 
I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. Connects with Kittle underneath. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second and a couple. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. The Niners on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time they face a third and two. Back to throw, Purdy. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Now that's a killer, because you think you get it absolutely covered, and then he hot puts it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turn. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. Now they run. It's Mason. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So that run gets them about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Purdy. A dump off for Mason. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. This will wind up a loss on the play. And this brings up a third and goal. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Shakes off the sack. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. So here we go. It's Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick here is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27. The visitors offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. 
These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Caught by Wilson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And the quick slant gets exactly 10. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. Murray going to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jordan Elliott busting through to get him for a loss of six. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Throwing now is Murray. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, man. Late in a tight ball game, every play so critical, you feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. Now Murray's got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run the counter. Mason. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Samuel. He can't get him down. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now they need two. Here's third down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Mason, and he will have a Niners first down, and that ought to be the one that seals the victory. And they take a knee.
Now a give right side. Mason. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. got a heck of a show party. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done and narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome is in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to 